All right, in this tutorial, what we're going to be working on is producing an electric car. Um, we're going to create the actual skeleton of the vehicle. So on the sector, you'll need to, or teams, you need to download this vehicle here and have it visible. Okay, inside Inventor, click on uh, the new button. Under the templates, select metric, and under parts, select standard millimeter the IPT. And click create. Okay, once this starts up, click the start 2D sketch tool. Select the bottom plane here. This is the XZ plane. All right, rotate your screen at the top right corner. So now you're looking in the top view. We're going to produce the top view of our chassis. So if you look on this one, what I want to do is produce basically uh, an outline, a skeleton of this car just with the lines. So my vehicle is about 2.15 meters long and roughly 500 millimeters in width. So 2.15 by 500. So in Inventor, I'm going to start with the line tool and click about here. I'm going to get 2,150 on my keyboard and hit enter. Now it's going to continue to produce a line unless you hit the escape key on your keyboard. So scroll the scroll wheel to zoom out and hold the mouse wheel down to pan. Next to me is my line tool. I'm going to click at the top of my existing line. I'm going to go down. I'm going to type in 500 and enter. Once that's produced, I can move my mouse to the right, or I can hit escape and start a new line. This is going to be 2,150, and hit escape again to cancel out, line tool, okay. So make sure you leave all dimensions inside your drawing. So I've got 500 by... Um, 2150 is the length and notice I've got some cross supports in here so my two major cross supports is positioned 400 from the end and 550 from the right end so I'm going to draw a line down another line down okay I'm going to use my dimension tool and click on my left side in my first line and move my mouse up to place it so 400. Okay, the right line, the right side. Something's happened there. Let's try that again. So dimension, line, line. Okay, it doesn't like it. So when you have an error, what you can do is you can click once and delete your line out. And let's try that again. Okay, dimension, right, left. Got a bit of a problem happening. Let's see what we can do about that. Dimension. There we go. 500. Uh, 550. So there I clicked the two points and it seemed to work. So I've got my 550 line there. And I got this line. And um, at this stage, I'll probably. So let's put it in the back here. So on this one here, I need to come in 200 and join my lines up. So let's let's do a little bit of repositioning here. So we want this car to be centered along the line, along around the origin. So I pick this uh, coincident constraint. And I move my mouse along this line until I find the green dot. Click that, and I click the yellow dot. It places it now central. So now I'm going to use my line tool. I'm going to make a line to the right. Another line across. Let's check our drawing. So they need to be 200 millimeters away. So dimension, my two lines, 200. Okay, once I've got that, I'll use my trim tool, which is a pair of scissors, to cut out the central central area. So now I've got kind of a rough view of this car. 
and I'm just only drawing the bottom of the vehicle. Okay, I'll finish my sketch. Now, if you need to re-edit your sketch, you double-click on Sketch 1. Okay, notice to get my tools and to finish the sketch. All right, so Sketch 1. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select Start 3D Sketch. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is use my Line Tool. And I'm going to start producing these beams here. So these points here, I need to draw up a line to get to my very next component. So I believe from here this will go up before it starts the curve. So we can look on this drawing here. We've got about 690 mil from the bottom to the start of the curve. And for the front roll bar, it's 390. So once again, I'll show you what I've done. So I've clicked on Start 3D Sketch. I click the line tool and I click this point. And it's important you select one of these two faces here. So make sure it's yellow. Move your mouse straight up. And I'm going to go 690. Enter. See it's placed a line. I'm going to hit Escape. And do the line tool again. Vertical line. 690. Okay, I'm going to use the front. Vertical one. So that's 390. I'm going to repeat that again. Okay. Once I get to this point, and I know my vehicle's width is 500, I'm going to use the arc tool. So I'm going to pick my two endpoints. Okay, I'm going to select this vertical face in yellow, and I'll type in um, 250, because that's half of 500. Okay, I'm going to repeat again here, line, point, point, pick the yellow face, and 250. So looking from the front, it's looking quite nice. Okay, so back at my drawing again. Now I need a little point here that's 119 height on the front of both parts. So my line tool, pick this point here, pick this vertical surface, and I'm going to type in 190. Okay, and I'll repeat the thing again. Okay, with those two in place, I can now use my line tool. And I can connect from one point to the next point. Okay, let's see it's starting to come along. Okay. Ooh, now that looks pretty close to what I need. Except I do have an error. I believe it doesn't quite go this high. So if we look back, it only goes from the bottom to here, which is 270. So I'm going to delete these out. And try a different method. So I need to put a point along this space here and if you look a little to the right of the mouse you'll see different X, Y, Z. So I need it on the Z Y plane at 270 up. So I'm going to move my mouse up and I'm going to hit the tab key on the keyboard and that changes which one I'm controlling. So 270, enter, and that should place my point in. So let's have a look if that worked. All right, so it's placed it in space. Let's try that again. So let's try that 270. Hmm. So I'm in a little bit of trouble getting it to the right point where we need. Um, one other thing we can do instead is use our line tool and redraw a second line. So on top of this we could go up to 270 and then connect our points. So that also works. The line tool, pick this point here, we'll go up 270 and join our lines. Okay, so we need to repeat the same at the back. So line 
point, vertical surface, 270, and then join it up. So line tool, click here. Uh, any one of these will work, this one or this one. So this yellow surface, 270, and then join up. Okay, so I'm getting close. Now, if I look at my vehicle, um, I've got to do a couple more little parts. So here, line, I'm gonna click at this back corner. I'm gonna go up. It's also 270. Okay, I'm gonna repeat this a couple times. On. Okay, so now I can kind of use my line tools to connect the remaining components. It's going to look a little bit messy. Remember, if you make a mistake, you just hit the escape key and you can delete. All right, so we're almost complete. So I need a line from here. Let's have a quick look. So there's going to be a line here to here. Okay, and there's also going to be a line from here, and it's going to be in the straight axis. To there. So you can see I'm getting this slowly coming in. So there on that. Didn't quite work. Let's try this again. Line that point. Okay, that's gonna be 100. All right, just about finished. So our last part is to connect our top of the roll bar. So line, point, let's pick a vertical surface, okay, until it connects up. Okay, so I've almost got this complete. We'll do one more. So line, surface. Okie dokie. So that there is my finished vehicle chassis. To rotate your view, it's shift and mouse wheel. Okay, when you're done, you click finish sketch and you're gonna go file, save as, and you need to really ensure you put it in a folder in your OneDrive, Catholic Education, and you give it a name. So this one will be uh, Tutorial Vehicle. So I'm gonna call this one Tutorial Vehicle Sketch, and that's complete.